Hi, this is Nicole Lee with Health Beauty and More. It's a beautiful day here in Morro Bay on this Sunday afternoon. And I came back and thought of something to talk about. And I would consider possibly uh, do-it-yourself application. I'm, I wouldn't say it's under health, not really under beauty. It's more handy stuff. So it's in the more category and more. Uh, the subject matter being that of clear nail polish. You can buy that almost every store, especially drug stores, all sizes. Some call it top coat, wild shine, protective coating. And this one's in oil, so that that's not that's out but the rest of these other two fall into that category anyway uh, clear nail polish has a lot of uses they're usually temporary fixes though so I don't want you to think these are permanent uh, but I'll go through a list of some of the things you can do that make it nice and handy to repair things around the house um, if you have pearl buttons for example Protect them with coating them with the clear nail polish. Number two, um, next on the list is when you go to sew and you use the thread, and you know how the, the thread is very difficult to get through the eye of the needle, try dipping it in the clear nail polish. First let it dry, then it's nice and stiff, and that'll work. Um, I have done this with, other than the nail polish, I've used just white glue as well and it works the same way when you're doing projects and you're using yarn or something that you need to go through the eye of a, a needle it could be a plastic needle it could depending on the project but anyway that's what I would do um, it also is great for preventing frayed fabric from coming unraveling fabric also under that category I would put ribbons in that category to keep the uh, ends from fraying. Um, for years and years, it's been known that you, with your wearing hosiery, you can stop the run with nail polish, clear nail polish. We've known that since the, I don't know, I, I knew it since I was about 12. So I guess it's been around, that's been around for a long time. So other than doing your nails, uh, there's a lot of uses we're finding for nail polish. Clear nail polish too. Um, mending a broken fingernail too. Uh, it's always temporary, but it, it is like a little bit of an adhesion, so it just helps it so it doesn't break all the way. Um, windshield cracks. If you're going to do that, you want to park your car in the shade. Do both sides of the glass. I do a couple of coats at least, and then. To let it dry, move it out into the sun. Or you could take a hair dryer if you didn't, if it wasn't sunny enough to dry it really good. Uh, give it time till until you do a permanent replacement of the crack in your windshield. You can also fill in little nicks on uh, floors and glass, like wooden floors, for example. You can do that with the nail clear nail polish. To keep it from um, splintering more and you know the gouging bigger so try that if you have wooden floors or glass that has uh, chips in it like glass for example that you might put in a, a, a photo frame it'll soften it so you won't cut yourself too uh, it's best to sand it if you're going to do the wooden floor to sand that area after you apply the dried um, glue with a 600 grit sandpaper just lightly and if you have a nicked mirror you want to put some thick coats on the thick on the mirror and allow that to soften the edges of the mirror if you want to work with jewelry and reset a stone if you're not going to use glue you can use clear nail polish for resetting a stone if you have a um, a vase or an item that needs repairing 
you can, instead of glue, use clear nail polish. Um, if it is a colored um, repair, you can also try mixing colored polish, nail polish, that matches as close as possible to the item we're talking about. But I wouldn't do it on anything that's valuable or an antique because it'll lessen the value of it. So only on, on costume items that are inexpensive, maybe. Um, if you have a cooler and you want to plug a hole in it and it's got ice in it and you're out camping, let's say there's a little teeny hole and then you're going to lose your ice, try a couple of coats of the nail polish in the on the cooler before you put the ice in there and see if that holds the ice at least temporarily that should work while you're on your vacation um, now when you have chipped paint on your automobile and you want to keep it from rusting you can use a little clear nail polish that's not a permanent fix it's a quick fix, but at least it will prevent it from rusting for a while. It also is great to use on wooden hangers. If there's any sharp edges on them, that'll help soften them. Anything wooden, sticks, dowels that has sharp edges and you want to soften, the clear nail polish will help with that. And then for screws, metal screws, you can apply the nail polish, the clear nail polish on the wooden, the uh, metal screws allowed to dry, in, you know, and it'll help keep things in place better. Uh, window screens that get holes in them. Another one that you can do is mend the holes with the clear nail polish. Torn window shades, the same thing. Try a little clear nail polish on it to help mend the torn parts of the window shades. You can use it on envelopes that need to be sealed. You can use it on metal jewelry to keep it from tarnishing. You can avoid rust stains in the bathroom coming from the bottom of cans that are metal, like shaving cream. You know how they are, they'll sit on uh, the surface of the tub or uh, on your vanity. Uh, rather than getting rust uh, transferring from the moisture off of the can. If you, if you seal the bottom of the, um, the container, it's probably aluminum, that will help with that problem. Um, and then labels, it'll, it'll help keep them from getting moisture in there. But I like to use clear tape when I'm putting labels on things. I just take clear tape and, and I don't do the the nail polish deal. Uh, if you're in camping again and you have matches and you don't want moisture to get on them, you want them to work, you can keep moisture out by applying some clear nail polish on the um, tips of the matches. And um, furniture, any splinters, try the clear nail polish to put a coat of that on there and that will keep, keep it from splintering further. One last thing I want to talk about is it is known that to help when you get an, a bug bite and it itches to put a little clear nail polish on that as long as it's not an open wound. And that's what I had to share today and I hope you got something out of it. And this is Nicole Lee with Health, Beauty and More. And this is a more area. Clear nail polish. And if you happen to need to sand anything like wooden and you don't have sandpaper, always have your emery board with you. And subscribe. Thank you.